hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to see the dot os for the redmi note 3 which is now six year old phone and which is running android version 11 so guys let's begin so as you guys can see here is the android 11 a stable rom for the redmi note 3 which is working fine and it's almost too good to be used and as you can see dot os droid on time the dot os version here is 5.1.3 unofficial one the security patch level we get here is the 5th of august 2021 so which is latest and the kernel here is lightning blade kernel <laughs> going back this is the about phone this is like me ui and going back this is the settings Going to the home screen, this is the home screen just like this Android 11 stock home screen and these are the quick settings as you can see the dot os one and it's just looking great. Going to the settings and customizations there are so many customizations available. Talking about these settings in the system these are the options the gestures and everything. Okay then going back to the security the screen lock here is working fingerprint here is also working face unlock working fine. So no issues going to the battery here the battery backup on this room here is average it's good as you can see the screen usage since full charge is 4, 4 hours and 50 minutes but I had just to charge the phone this is these are the stats so yes you will get around 4 to 5 hours of screen on time on this room so just don't worry about the battery backup then talking about the sounds and vibration these are the options and this is the sound panel as you can see this is the volume panel available here then these are the options the vibrate for calls and everything then uh, the touch sound and everything these are just almost the same basic options available here going back here in the display options these are the options the dark theme here is available and it's working fine the double tap to wake option here is available and is working fine as you can see double tap to wake the font size, accent color, icon shape and everything here is available and going to the customizations, these are the customizations options available which is looking great. Going to the wallpapers, these are the options and in the built in wallpapers, these are the built in wallpapers available. Then these are the dot os exclusive, you can download from here the dot os exclusive wallpapers, lineage os and other rooms, so which is up available here. Going back to the AOD and lock screen, you can enable the A always on display from here, which is working as you can see fine, so no issues. Then you get to see the edge lighting, edge lighting colors and animations and everything. Then going to the status bar here, these are the options, the battery styles here. Just slide this battery style and as you can see it will just change according to it. So just slide it then you get to see the battery percentage styles outside or inside and you can just change from here like just slide here to change the options so this is something new which is in the dot os only then qs percentage and everything these are all the same options battery light here is available which is also working fine no issues going back these are the quick settings customizations available these are all the options available here the UI on this room here is just great, it's just good. Then you get to see the app lock here, which is also working fine. Then the lab and everything, the clock face, these are all the clock faces available on this room. Then the buttons customization, the themes here are available, you can change the themes. These are the font styles available, the icon pack, icon shapes, accent color. So these are all the customizations available here. Then in the system, these are the options, the hold the power button for the torch and everything. Fingerprint on reboot, the volume panel, you can make it on left, as you can see, you can make it on left. Double tap to open ambient display, so these are so many customizations available here in this room and these are the maintainers of the room, so yes. Then going back, going to the home screen, this is the home screen. These are the, this is the recent panels, the Android 11 recent panel, you can screenshot it from here. You can directly share it from here, share the screenshot from here, then you can clear all we get to see option. Then these, talking about the bloatware, these are the only apps we get. I had only installed the WhatsApp 
and YouTube otherwise everything here is by default and I have also installed the camera APK and the Geekbench the safety net these are the five apps which I had externally installed otherwise everything here is pre-installed talking about the quick settings these are this is the quick settings UI which is looking great like you get to see the edit and settings this is the brightness slider yes and everything in this here is also working fine no issues then talking about the camera here this is the google camera which i had downloaded from the play store and is working perfectly fine i am having no issues the video mode photo mode in this gcam is working this is 4.1 version then the by default the gcam we get here is just the basic one then talking about the calls and everything the calls are also working fine no issues with the call the youtube video playback here is also working no issues with that too and the double tap to wake double tap to sleep everything in this room here is working fine talking about the performance here these are the geekbench scores so these are the geekbench scores 284 and 786 so the scores are just impressive on this room mm, yeah the single core scores are average but the multi core score here is just great and uh, so yes the performance here is not an issue but if you want to play games and stuff then this room is not for you because the gaming performance on this room is not that great i am warning you so yes then talking about the safety net status here the safety net status has passed and the banking apps will run perfectly fine no issues it has passed by default without even rooting the phone so talking about the bugs there is a bug like if you want to clear the notification from on the lock screen then sometimes it's very difficult to clear out the notification it's just it will just not go the notification will stay on the lock screen so yes this is a bug present here then sometimes the double tap to wake here just don't work you can say this is the ambient display and is working fine as you can see the double tap to wake sometimes just don't work and uh, i am having issues with the internet also the wi-fi sometimes even if the wi-fi is connected but the internet will just not work so yes and uh, these were the only bugs i had faced otherwise everything on this room is working perfectly fine for me and i'm very much impressed with this room that this is the initial build initial build of the room and it is working the android 11 first initial build room which is just working great on the redmi note 3 which is a six year old phone now and this is the 2gb ram variant which i am having and the ram management on this room here is just great i'll just show you as you can see the ram management on this room here is just great even after sometimes these are all the apps i had opened and after that also the the apps are in the memory so yes the ram management on this room here is very impressive i must say so there are no issues with the ram management and the performance is also just good for day to day usage there are no bloatware so if you want to flash this room then there will be the link available in the description below and the installation steps are also just the same just wipe flash the rom flash g apps and reboot to system and if you want to root you can flash the magisk so yes the installation steps will be also given in the description below you so yes that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye